here investors, I would like to introduce my guest, Miranda Carr, uh, who is uh, working for Hightung Securities since April 2015. Hello, Miranda. Hi there. It's a pleasure to having you here. Miranda, what was the scope of activity of Hightung Securities? Um, well, Hightung Securities is um, originally set up 1988 in Shanghai. Um, and is one of the se it's the second largest securities company in China, um, behind uh, Citic Securities. Um, they've expanded into Hong Kong uh, very recently, um, but the, the the big step was when they ex expanded into the European market uh, last year, um, where they bought um, Espirito Santo Investment Bank. Right. So now we have operations. We've got um, it's a 22 billion dollar market cap company in in Shanghai. Uh, but now we have offices in Hong Kong, in, in London, Warsaw, uh, Sao Paulo, and Lisbon. Mm -hmm. And so, so quite a big, big spread now, um, just, o just over the last year. Thank you. Miranda, uh, you are ahead uh, of research. Um, mm -hmm. Tell me, what is the Haitang's new, new China uh, index? Well, the new China index is we've been working very closely. We have. 200 analysts in, in, in Shanghai and quite a lot of analysts sort of spread throughout, throughout the globe. Um, but the trouble is actually getting a sense of what is going on on the ground in China is really difficult. Um, you have the GDP data, uh, which no one tends to trust. You know, it's a, they think it's a government influenced figure. It's not reflective of the real economy um, underlying it. So the, one of the measures that you can use is uh, the Li Keqiang index. This was Premier Li saying actually instead of GDP you should look at railway freight, electricity consumption and bank loans. So that's fine for the for the old economy, you know, China when it was all property, mm -hmm. exports, heavy, heavy industry um, and very state dominated. But it doesn't really reflect the new China. Um, so this is, you know, the online growth, the um, capital markets um, being a source of financing, um, and then a lot of the consumer and the services side of the economy. So we wanted to create a, a measure that would actually give investors an, an idea of what was going on you know, on the ground um, underneath the, the headline GDP numbers. Exactly. And how can we measure Chinese economy? Well, that's the, that's the tricky part. What we wanted to use was measures that were industry data. So it's not... It's not um, um, it's not massaged, um, and also it, it, it gives a sense of really what's going on. So, so we chose five um, indicators that we think are actually quite, quite good in terms of the measuring actual activity, particularly in the consumption space. So, airline passenger volume, which is gives an idea of both tourism and business travel. Um, the um, instead of electricity consumption and railway freight, you've got. Um, things like auto sales, because that's obviously a key part of the uh, consumption side of the economy, and also communications revenue. So this shows online, mobile, and all the uh, bits of the, the, the new economy, the online um, usage and people using uh, Weixin or WeChat and buying things online. Um, and then we looked at non-bank financing, so capital market raising and, and shadow banking, um, and then finally government spending on uh, healthcare, education, and more of the social security aspects, rather than looking at the infrastructure side of the economy. So it gives quite a different feel for what uh, what's going on in the services side, and also what what your average Chinese consumer is doing. Okay, so is China region an important and interesting target for European entrepreneur? It's definitely a. Uh, interesting target. I mean, because you have much more uh, opportunities opening up. The um, it used to be the case that it was just you know people were concentrated on the the heavy industry side, um, and so people would always look at the what's going on in the steel industry or the um, industrial side, um, and that was very much the sort of the you know the big uh, the you know, big companies that would be focused on that. Whereas for the for the the change in the to a more service side of the economy and also the, the, the mobile developments and the, the online means there's much more, e even though the likes of Alibaba, Baidu, Tencent, the, the big three dominate mm -hmm. the, the online environment, there's a lot more room for people to come in on 
um, providing services or providing different um, technologies into this market because that's where you're seeing the strongest growth. Right. Thank you, Miranda, very much. Thank you. My guest was Miranda Ka from Hightung Securities. Thanks.